My friends, it's not just the gig workers, the drivers and the food delivery drivers that are shaking their heads when it comes to Uber or Lyft or DoorDashes or Uber Eats numbers, right? The same applies to riders or people ordering food. I mean, they are flabbergasted. They are blown away when they get uh, presented with all this baloney, right? So here, I mean, fair breakdown, right? Fair breakdown for a rider. I mean, this individual is just shaking his or her head. They're like, what the heck? Booking fee? 50 bucks? Booking fee? Like, what on earth is going on here, right? When does it end? When does the greed end? I mean, every single week, it's just like more and more and more. Now, I understand that Darrell Koshashawi is hell-bent to get his $130 million bonus. I understand that David Risha is hell-bent to get his $900 million bonus to pushing the stock to a certain price. So, and, and understanding that this is what motivates them, right? But how, how do they get there? How do they get to their bonuses? Well, they got to be as ruthless as, a, as an individual can be and not care an ounce about riders and drivers and food delivery drivers and just do their thing. Extract as much as possible. Show quarter by quarter, look, we're just raping the system and taking as much as possible. And when they beef up those numbers, you know, based on this bullshit over here, um, I believe they do a lot of long-term damage. Now, what type of long-term damage could I be talking about? Well, just, just dial in. Go to any social media channel and read the comments. Read how unhappy and how angry and frustrated gig workers, drivers, and food delivery drivers are. Look, at, look on TikTok or any other outlet how many ri uh, riders and people ordering food are turning to social media. So this is not going well for them, right? They can have their spin masters and their Josh Goulds and their John Markworths of the world trying to spin it in a different direction, but the rider sees. The rider sees that there's a booking fee of $50. So here they say, you agree to pay the upfront price and applicable wait time fees. The amount presented may be adjusted up or down at the end of the trip if the actual route has tolls, surcharges that differ from the estimated route. Your price may also change based on the rates below if the length, duration or route of your trip changes. Your upfront price or final adjusted price may be subject to dynamic multipliers to account for marketplace factors including supply and demand patterns. So, Base fare, $4.13 per minute. Um, quoting this individual, $57.46 right up to $76 per mile, $1.66. I mean, they're charging the individual $1.66 per mile, right? How, how much is the driver getting? Estimated tolls, okay, that, that could be true. But here, booking fee. A booking fee. I mean, how, how much of this booking fee are we getting? Now, I haven't seen the final uh, the final fare, obviously, because this is the offer. You've got to agree to this first, dear rider. So additional wait time charges may apply to your trip if the driver has waited two minutes up to 63 cents per minute, depending on how busy it is. Stacking in just pr um, all these fees. If you think it drives us drivers crazy, just, just imagine how the ri riders are trying to decipher this, how pissed off they are. So it makes no sense to me. And, and this is where the investors need to wake up a little bit, right? Do you know how much damage you are doing to your client base, to your customer base? Do you know how much damage you are doing and how much money you are spending on just getting drivers into the system and then spitting them out and replacing them with the next. I mean, I have never, ever seen businesses run like this, but you know, every day is a new day at Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Uber Eats. Every day, these fools surprise us with new bullshit, right? Your comments, please. But look at this $50 booking fee. 
how much of that 50 bucks do we, the drivers, see? Your comments.